You're still mad at me, aren't you? Max, I really just don't want to talk about it. The sooner I can forget about the whole experience, the better. Technically, none of that was my fault. Not directly, anyways. I said I don't want to talk about it, okay? The whole thing where we fell down three shafts, and got attacked by Piranha, got captured by skeletons, then fell into the cave where the slimes tried to mate with us. Oh, and the part where the skeletal enchantress dropped our liver. Max! Okay, Hannah, think fast. What do we know about fairy physiology? As you can see, the physical structure of the common fairy can be likened to that of a bisected kiwi fruit. Before you complain that this doesn't make any sense, remember, these are fairies. They're not supposed to make sense. As for nursing them, well, there's only one thing you can do. Hey, Max? Do you hear clapping? Ugh, I can't wait to get home where things actually kind of make sense. Hi, you must be Max. <gasps> so I'm sure there's a good reason for why you're applauding the death of that poor fairy-like creature, but I have to say, I have no idea what it is. Um, this could be a little hard to explain. Try me. Well, the short version is that after I came here and met your friend Ailey, and we started talking, and I made a comment about her beard, which turned out to be pipe cleaners, and so I tried to tear it off and ended up stripping her fuzz layer by accident, and when she found out, she went berserk and passed out. Wait, that little blob of stuff is Ailey? It looks nothing like him. Him? Her? The subject of Ailey's gender aside, he seems to be okay. He just passed out. I think he'll be fine if we give him a while. Oh, that's a relief. So you know about fairies? No, just death and being passed out. I've had loads of experience with that. Um, okay. So I'm Hannah, the nurse. You're Max, right? That's right, and that's my guy- A pleasure to meet you. What's your name? Um... Bimple. My name? My name is of no importance, my lady. For indeed, a name may only be given to a man. And before ye, I am little more than a lowly beast, a wretched creature who is nonetheless blessed to have beheld such beauty in his miserable existence. Forgive me if I stare, but in a face of such perfection, one cannot help but to become enraptured. Surely, such awe was the fate of Octon as he beheld Artemis, and Adonis as he beheld Aphrodite. I am but a mere mortal, and my poor mind is overwhelmed by your magnificent presence. For surely, there exists no other whose hair is of a sheen that delights the eye more than the golden fields of autumn, and that ripples like a pristine river fed from the spring of life itself. No other has possessed eyes so green as to put the finest emerald's luster to shame. Before you, I dare not speak my name. Should my crude and barbaric utterance befoul the shimmering air that stirs about you in sublime elation? In sooth, I would rather possess no name at all, so that yet one more corner of my mind could be populated with thoughts of you, fair Hannah. Max, he's been staring at me for five minutes. What's wrong with him? I don't know, he's nuts. Okay. You zoned out there for just a moment. That's totally okay. Just snap yourself out of it and introduce yourself. Hi, my name is... Guys? Are you sure your guide will be okay out there on his own? He seems kind of... fragile. Don't worry, he's an experienced zombie handler. He's dealt with zombies before? Well, let's just say there were zombies, and they did get dealt with. By him? Well, technically by non-specific entities in the vicinity of him. <laughs> Max, we are going back to get your poor defenseless guide. Oh. I still think he'll be fine on his own. It's been four hours since we've seen him. I don't think he's fine. Maybe he's taking his time enjoying the scenery. Max, he might be in real trouble. Now, can you help me, please? As much as I hate to agree with Max, he is actually correct. I am enjoying the scenery, in a sense. See, even the talking tree thinks I'm right. Maybe he knows where Guidey is. Max. Guidey!
Er, guide, are you alright? Depending on your personal definition of alright, both yes and a resounding no. What are you doing up there, Guidey? At the moment, just ruminating the transient nature of life and the subset of the multitude of ways by which its natural progression towards death can be expedited through painful and thorough evisceration by certain unnamed and undead entities. What is he on about? He's afraid of being killed by zombies. Imminent death makes me verbose. Come on down already, Guidey. I'm not coming down there until it's as safe down there as it is up here. Don't worry, it's completely safe. There's nothing- <sighs> Oh, uh... <sighs> Just make room, will you? So, um, I never did get your name. Oh yeah, sorry about that. So what is it? Oh, it- <sighs> <sighs> Yeah, yeah, shut up, Mr. Trevor, will you? Max, for someone who usually rushes so eagerly into the maw of danger, you sure shimmied up into the tree fast enough. Excuse me, sir, but I do know my limits. There were lots of them. That didn't stop you the first time we went out that night. Yeah, but then I had you to watch my back. I didn't want to get surrounded and have my limbs torn apart by zombies. That would totally suck. Why, yes, it would totally suck, now wouldn't it? We wouldn't want that to happen or have happened to anyone here, no sir. I think there's some subtext I'm missing here. Is there? I have no idea what he's going on about. So this is how we die. Stranded in a tree surrounded by zombies. Oh, come on, we're totally fine. In what way are we fine? Well, all we have to do is stay for the night and we're golden. Nothing can hurt us up here. Aww, he likes you. If anyone asks how your first day went, tell them you fed cookies to orphans and cured Guidi of malaria. Okay. There. I think I've done all I can for now. Mm. How about a shot? Do you think you might need a shot? Mm. First of all, I don't have any needles with me. Second of all, why on earth would you think he needs a shot? I don't know. He might have bird rabies. <sighs> Max, there's no such thing as bird rabies. Maybe there is, it's just so violent that and deadly that no one's ever lived to tell the tale. Max, go play outside. Mm. Hey guys, what's up? Ailey, you're alright. Yeah, after I woke up I did some thinking. And I decided to try and live with my new hideous form. Oh, um, that's good. Yeah, you really did a number on me. I was pretty traumatized. For a moment, I thought I might not be able to go on. But it's okay. I'll have an existence without my fuzz layer, as crippled and forsaken as a dying animal. Mm. Jeez, what happened to you? Um, after we met, he kind of got paralyzed until night fell, and then he ran up a tree to escape from zombies and got ravaged by a bird instead. Sheesh, good thing we have a nurse with us, right? It's kind of funny when you think about it. We were doing okay until you got here. Yeah, that's absolutely hilarious. If you will excuse me, I'm going to go cry about something completely unrelated to this. <sighs> oh, hello, Guide. I'm sorry you were mummified because of me. <laughs> Some nurse I am. Look at how much trouble I've been able to cause in a single day of being here. <laughs> I'm starting to think it was a bad idea to come out here in the first place. Maybe I should call it quits. <laughs> I mean, after all, the only reason I came here in the first place is because someone here found, <gasps> of course, the heart crystal. <laughs> Max, while you were out exploring, did you ever find a strange heart-shaped crystal? Oh uh, yeah, what about it? Those crystals are powerful magical artifacts only found in this continent. They're said to have been left here by angelic powers for a chosen person to find and use in his battle against evil. They have amazing healing and life-giving properties if used correctly. If you give it to me, I can use it to heal and power up both of you. Uh, wow, that definitely sounds awesome. Er, unfortunately, I can't exactly give it to you. Because, well, no uncertain terms. What I mean to say is... Er, uh, kinda, sorta, maybe, perhaps, possibly could have eaten it. Slightly. Max, please tell me that you did not actually eat a heart crystal. Oh, come on, it's not that big of a deal, is it? A guy eats one priceless relic and he can never live it down. Huh? No, no, that's not it. 
Well, yeah, that was kind of stupid of you, but this is really bad. The heart crystals are supposed to grant powers to the chosen ones so that he can battle demons of the corruption. So? So, breaking open a heart crystal will launch events into motion that you're not ready for. It will summon demons to hear. Ah, oh, pshaw, you don't really believe that, do you? We've never seen demons around this place, have we, Guidey?